Tornado hits Middlesboro without any warning. Good evening, everyone. I'm Steve Hensley. Leading our news tonight at 6, the extent of the damage in Middlesboro was very clear after the sun came up this morning. National Weather Service officials say an EF1 tornado came through the city yesterday. WIMT's Ashley Reynolds is live in Bell County and has more on the cleanup in tonight's top story at 6. Crews are out here tonight working to restore power from a tornado that hit here about 24 hours ago, and officials did confirm it was an EF1 tornado that hit Middlesboro in this area right here on 19th Street. It was on the ground for about 5 to 10 minutes, and folks I talked to today say it could take up to several weeks to clean up this damage. It makes you sick. It makes you sick. Benny Hickman runs a supply store. The tornado damaged seven of his 10 buildings. So there's no telling but, how uh, much money you've lost. No, we haven't started calculating yet. Everywhere in this section of 19th Street has damage. Just to give you an idea of some of this destruction, check this out. This right here is a telephone pole that fell, and you can see right here we're basically on a railroad track that is no longer in use. And check out some of these cement blocks here. You can see the cement is basically just everywhere. If you look. And you can tell it was part of this building, which is no longer standing. And folks that I talked to say, well, there is a lot of destruction here. They are very grateful no one was hurt. It absolutely doesn't compare to the tornado in the 80s. The tornado in the 80s did uh, massive amounts of damage. Uh, there were uh, uh, persons uh, injured. Uh, we've been really blessed with this one. Nobody's been injured. While no one was injured, business owners say it will take weeks to rebuild. I was more shocked. It's worse than what I thought it'd be. Yeah. Many businesses cannot start the cleanup process until power is restored and insurance officials examine the damage. And officials hope to have the power on back here in this uh, part of the city later on tonight. Reporting live in Bell County, Ashley Reynolds, WYMT Mountain News. Ashley, thank you very much. Now